Okay, we're going to do a perm demonstration head. We're starting with brick wrap. So I'm going to start in the center of the head. I'm still going to take my subsection, the length and width of the roller. And this is going to be rolled like a regular perm wrap. So the hardest part is learning how to stack the perm rods in where it looks like a brick. This was a real person with this hair you have to put another paper on and encapsulate all those ends to make it smooth. So I'm going to go across and do the first row. If you end up with shortness on the side, you can use a shorter roller if you need to. Get these rolled. straight out from the section keep the hair wet as you go it rolls more smoothly ensure those ends go in roll down so now I have one row of rods so if I want to do brick wrap I want to think about the bricks on the wall I never want to have two rollers bumping up so on a regular primer I'd keep rolling down and all the ends would be equal so now what I do is I go back to the center and I'm going to come to the side and I think I could do this with just two regular rollers here because it's small enough. So I want the end of the roller to meet in the middle of the roller I started with in the center. So when you look at a brick wall, there's no end to end per row. So when this rod lays in, you see this end is in the middle of this rod, the end's in the middle of that rod. See where these connect? That's going to be in the middle of that rod. So the reason we do this is so we don't have those straight line parts when we finish a perm. So this makes a softer, more natural look, and you don't have that strong mohawk part down the center of someone's head when you perm it. If you're doing shorter hair, most of the time you will have to do your regular nine section because it's hard to roll a uh, brick wrap on really super, super short hair and get a nice curl. But when it gets a little longer, like, you know, four inches or longer, it's a little easier to do a brick wrap. So now I have two rows here. You see these ends butt up in the middle of that rod. These ends butt up in the middle of that rod. So now I come down to my last row, and I'm going to go right in the center here. So always go to center and work to the outside edge. So now this one, see these two on, a, on the first row and the third row are the same, but what happens? You see the brick forming. So on the sides over here, this is pretty small, so I'm going to do a bookend still, but I'm going to turn it long ways so it doesn't hang off of my small roller. So a long bookend for a small piece would be like that. I'm doing a short roller. Ensure that end goes under. Roll this up. So now when we look at this mannequin, you see like I have bricks. There's no two ends on two rows matching up together. This is the brick wrap. 